Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm Brugly, and today I want to talk about the backrooms level called the Pool Rooms. In this video, I'm going to go over the level itself's details and the Pool Rooms found footage video that's recently been blowing up. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around for the video and enjoy. Also, go sub to my second channel, Toogly, because I got some story time videos from a huge trip that I took across the country a couple months ago. Those are going up this weekend and over the next few weeks, so stick around for that. But for this video, enjoy the back rooms, pool rooms explained. Let's get it! So the pool rooms is a level from the fandom, actually, and it's level 37. It's split up into a couple different zones, which I'll get into later, and they all vary depending on how safe they are or how dangerous they are. The first zone I want to talk about is called the Safe Zone, shocker, and it's classified as a Class Zero difficulty and is devoid of anything that could possibly hurt you. Unless you, like, hate water or something, then I don't know what to tell you. This zone looks like a maze of white, tiled walls and rooms that are filled at varying depths of room temperature water. The water itself is clean and could theoretically be consumed, but uh, I don't know if I would want to try that, to be honest with you. The entire level has no actual light source, no light fixtures in the ceilings, and the only light that comes into the level is from some random windows that just shine bright light into the halls, and then from there, it reflects off into the water. This level's day-night cycle has it day for 16 hours and night for 8 hours, and during those day hours, the windows will appear perfectly white, so you won't be able to see outside of them, you'll just be able to see like a white sheet of light, and at nighttime, they'll turn completely black. The deeper you go into this level, the deeper the water itself gets and the less light gets there. A weird thing about the safe zone's walls is that they actually damper and dampen any sound from entering or moving around. And the only sound you'll be able to hear is the water splashing from your legs or feet or, you know, if you're swimming, you'll hear that water. Earlier, I said that this part of the level was completely safe and devoid of entities, which is mostly true, except there's been some reports of wanderers hearing weird noises from an unknown source, and sometimes they've even said that something was watching them from the shadows? That's pretty creepy. The main theory is that people have been hearing sounds coming from the danger zone, since the walls in the danger zone actually amplify sound unlike the walls of the safe zone, which dampen sound. The tiles here in the safe zone actually have another weird quirk, where they reflect light from the windows into different colors, like neon colors, which then can be reflected into the water, and thereby changes the color of the water to your eyes. Pretty trippy. The last thing about this zone is that there's actually almond water that drips down from the ceiling, which leads some people to believe that there's a huge store of almond water above this part of the level, which would be pretty cool, but again, it's just a theory. The next part of the level is actually called the Main Center, which, as its name suggests, is just the exact center location of the level, and it looks like a huge room with water on the floor, just like the safe zone, except this time, there's actually platforms that are above the water that people can stand on, which is nice if you're tired of getting wet. This area typically is like a landmark to wanderers and a good place to meet up or a good place to rest. There's even food and other supplies here too, and these supplies will actually refill themselves if they're all taken every hour or so. But the most important thing about this zone is that it has the ability to restore your sanity, which if you know anything about the back rooms, sanity is very important. The last zone for the pool rooms is called the Danger Zone, and, well, it's dangerous. It's classified as a Class 4 difficulty, and it's very unsafe and very unsecure, and it's pretty much exactly like the safe zone, except the walls are dark blue and black, and not white, and they're more cramped and claustrophobic. It's also extremely dark here, and in some cases, it's actually pitch black, and like I said earlier, the tiles amplify every sound, so it's really disorienting, because everything echoes really loudly. 
The water here is also worse than before because earlier you could theoretically drink the water, but if you drink the water here, you'll get severe stomach aches. On top of all that, this section actually makes your sanity drop really quickly, which obviously isn't good. But yeah, that's it for the danger zone. It's like the first safe zone, but dangerous. There are actually three colonies that call this level home. The first one is called the Lifeguards, which pretty much is a group of around 90 members who live in that main area where the platforms are. They refuse to trade with outsiders, but they will save anyone's life who's drowning or seems to be struggling in any way. The next group is called the Swimmers, and they have around 60 members and literally they just teach people how to swim around the level, like that's it. The last group is called the Republic, and they live in the danger zone. They're armed, but they're friendly, and they'll protect you from any hostile entities that might be attacking. Speaking of entities, the entities here are the typical ones, like smilers, skin stealers, and wretches. But there's one more called the Glitchton, which is a really rare entity, but it's also very dangerous. They look like a humanoid skeleton, but they have neon bones, and also they have a metal arm. They're very aggressive when attacking, and their main threat that they cause is that they can hear very well, so if you're splashing around or whatever, they'll probably come to you. And they wear clothing that's been dipped in liquid silence, so you can't hear them, which is terrifyingly creepy. Like, imagine just being there, and turning around, and seeing a skeleton with a metal arm just standing right behind you. Creepy. To enter this level, you can noclip into level negative 33, or you can noclip into the bottom of an empty pool from level 823 if you want to come here. And to exit, you can find a cylinder stairway and walk up those stairs to be sent to level negative 33, or you can just noclip into any wall that you can in the safe zone area to be sent to level 7. Easy peasy. Alright, now that I've talked about the level itself, I want to show you this pool room's found footage that was inspired by this level entry. The footage comes from a YouTuber named Jared Pike. It's a cool name because, you know, my name's Jared too. This footage is actually really cool and I recommend you go check it out for yourself if you want to watch the entire thing. But in the video, we can see the safe zone area with the white tiles and shallowish water. And we can also see the main room area with the platforms. We don't get any footage inside of the danger zone, but we can see the entrances to the danger zone where it starts to get dark. And you can tell that this footage was based off of the pictures from the Phantom's entry, which is always pretty cool. And uh, I think it's really dope. And you should definitely go check out Jared's channel because this found footage is really cool. And I don't know, it's something about this water liminal space in the back rooms that just seems cool. And seeing it, you know, brought to life in found footage form is just pretty dope. Go check it out, the link will be down below. And yeah, that is it for the video today on the backrooms pool rooms. Like I said, there's just something about like water filled liminal spaces that's weirdly relaxing to me in a way. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed. Go check out the description for any links you want or you might be interested in, like my Twitter or my second channel, Toogly, where I'm going to be uploading some story time videos of my trip that I took out west in December. And I went to like 13 different states and I have some pretty crazy stuff to tell you. And the newest video that's going to be coming out over there on Toogly will be how I set off the alarms at Area 51. <laughs> yes, this is a true story and I have a video to go along with it. But yeah, make sure you go check it out. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for your supporting of the channel. A little bit extra. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Comment on this video, sub to Toogly, if you're still watching. Tons of you guys always comment the secret words, so thank you so much for watching the entire video. Thank you so much for commenting that. I really appreciate it. I try to heart all the comments, but there are literally so many, but I try to. Thank you all for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you later. Brutally out.